What is going on, everyone? Some Bryce Harper news, real quick. He's totally okay. The x-rays show negative, which is a positive at the end of the day, and it's just it's a sigh of relief, really. We dodged a 96-mile-per-hour bullet, if you will, and at the time, just the way that hit his ankle, the way it hit his foot. It was so scary. It was so loud. It was as if it was the pop of the bat. It was ridiculous. So I am just a sigh of relief. You, you'll watch my video of me two seconds after I see it, and I'm an emotional wreck. That's what I do. That's how I get tied to these teams. I see Bryce Harper go down like that, and I instantly want to cry. But the x-rays show nothing too serious. Gabe Kapler comes out and says there's obviously not going to be anything in regards to missing opening day or anything of that nature. There's just some precautionary stuff that they're going through now. They're going to make sure he's okay before they throw him back into spring training. And I'm okay with that, but we do need to get him some looks. He needs to get out there. He needs to swing the bat. He hasn't really been too productive in spring training. I've mentioned this millions of times, but the pitchers are kind of staying away from him. They're, they're letting him walk or hitting him, but they're not really giving him much meat and potatoes to go out there and swing the bat. And if they do, they got 7,000 outfielders in the outfield anyway. So it hasn't been the smoothest spring training for Bryce Harper up to date. So we need to get him back out there to get reps. He's going to need reps. The the season is literally coming upon us here. It is really coming fast, just like that. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm stoked and I cannot wait for the season to begin to watch some meaningful baseball. But he does need to get his reps because it hasn't been smooth. It hasn't been filled with success, if you will. Not that I put too much eyes on spring training. It's a reason why they have it. It's to get these players back up to speed. It's to get the swings going, to get repetition because once you get thrown out there when the season really starts, it's such a higher pace and such a fast game. They, they gotta get the rhythm going, but it just sucks because Bryce hasn't had that opportunity. Now, a little bit of a minor setback as he gets rocked by a 96 mile per hour fastball, which still, to this day, completely blows my mind. And I say to this day as if it was years ago and it wasn't just you know, just happened. But th that's where I'm at here. It's just, it's it's disappointing and frustrating because I need to see him get reps because it hasn't been a, a spring training filled with doubles, triples, home runs, consistent at-bats that were very, very, very productive when it comes to hitting the baseball. Now he's worked counts and he's walked and that's great. That's what you're going to get out of Bryce Harper because in real games, teams are going to be scared to pitch at him. But then Reese Hoskins comes up, of course, and that's why this lineup is so much more lethal this year. But we, we need to see him get some contact and, and whatnot. So just a quick little update on Bryce Harper. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching.